Hey guys, today we are talking all about the brand new Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydro Glow Foundation. Just have to do a little review on it and first impression. So if you guys are interested in that, we're gonna get straight into this. Me and glowy foundations are like this. So if you're new here, I'm obsessed with anything that looks like skin, a glowy, natural, all of that. So I'm really excited to try this out. I've been a major fan of Makeup Forever's products for such a long time. Their complexion products are literally just the best. So let's get into it. So I was scrolling on Instagram and all of a sudden I saw this pop up on my feed and I stopped everything I was doing. But that's how I get with foundations. I literally, if a new one's coming out and it's glowy or skin-like, I'm like, oh my goodness, like I need that now. I'm gonna test it out like I do with all my foundation reviews, one side with the sponge and one side with the brush. But basically this is supposed to be that skin like glowy foundation. So I do have the card right here with all of the details. First of all, how stunning. Okay, love. Um, this is the new skincare foundation. So anything with the word glowy skincare into a foundation, it needs to be mine. I'm obsessed. Of course, I love like a soft matte look, but if it is glowy and has skincare benefits to it or looks like your skin, but you have coverage, that to me is like, what more could you want, you know? But that's personal preference, I know. I feel like it's gonna be pretty similar to the original, which is the HD Skin Foundation, which I feel like it'll be like the sister to that. I did really love this one as well, and I love the original HD. There really is no foundation I don't like from them. So fingers crossed, we love this. So this is what the sponge looks like. It's a typical sponge on top, and then the bottom has more of a silicone feel to it, and it is more of that flattened edge. The shades 2N22 and 2N26. I believe my original shade in this one, yes, is 2N26. So if it's anything like that, it should match a little bit similar. Really love the packaging of them too. And I love that it's on a pump as well. It's supposed to be an undetectable foundation with 24 hour hydration and radiance, an 86% skincare based formula. Okay. Inspired by professional makeup artist backstage secret, the sheet mask. I love the way that they are like marketing this. And okay, if it's inspired by a sheet mask, it's gonna give the ultimate hydration. I can already tell. So I'm hoping that that's true. It's supposed to be nourishing, hydrating, plumping, smoothing, natural, luminous skin-like finish. To blend seamlessly, blur out any imperfections, also having a natural buildable coverage. And it's supposed to provide high performance wear while improving skin's hydration instantly and over time, we love. It's gonna retail for $47 and there's 32 shade options. There's also four shade families and three undertones. The card that came with the package, kind of giving a little breakdown. Do a little shake on both and I'll do some swatches. I already did my skin prep before. Shade 2N22, I'm gonna do a little pump. So it is a little bit runny, which is very nice because I feel like I'm gonna like that consistency. 2N26, I think they'll match. I am self tan right now. This one does look a little bit too deep, but again, if I'm using it as a mixer shade, I'll only use a tiny bit to it. Do this side with a brush and this one with a sponge, like per usual. Mmm, that is spot on. Oh my goodness, wow. And then this one is 2N26. But as far as this shade, the 2N22, which is a neutral undertone, very, very nice. Continue to apply straight away as I'm applying it. It literally feels so thin and not cooling, but just feels like good. It doesn't feel like I'm applying something heavy on my skin. It feels super lightweight. And even by just applying it like this, like that looks absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness. Wait, I literally was just gonna dot it on and then just apply with my other BK Beauty brush, but I feel like me just applying it like this is giving coverage. Just keep applying right here, halfway, and then I'm gonna go in with that sponge. But that is incredible so far, and literally the color match couldn't be better, I don't think. I'm going with this BK Beauty brush anyway and just kind of lightly tap on top of it. It is blending into my skin so beautiful, and it literally feels like a moisturizer or a tinted moisturizer. Wow. I feel like every single time I do a video like this, I'm so shocked. And I don't know why I'm so shocked. I'm acting like I've never seen anything like this before, but it does always shock me, truly. It just looks like my skin with an even coverage. Like, hello, love that. I'm gonna apply a bit more right here. It is supposed to still be buildable as well. It is blurring while giving that glow as well. It's not just giving hydration. It's actually giving a bit of that, like, perfected look, you know? Very smoothing. I would probably go in with one more pump as well. I'm just starting out super slow. I'm gonna go in with the other side now with the sponge right here. I'm just gonna pump again on my hand. Two pumps, I'm gonna do some dots. Definitely gonna shear it out way more. Like, look at that coverage on my forehead though. I wouldn't use this sponge, to be honest with you, for the whole face. It's not really giving the coverage there. It's kind of wiping it away. Try that side, because I'm curious what this side is gonna do for me. Oh. 
Apply the foundation from the center of the face in outward spreading motions. I did not follow directions. So if you do it like that, it kind of just feels like fingers in a way. Uh, dab on the rounded side of the sponge to blend out the foundation and adjust the coverage. So if you're gonna use it in the way it's intended, it could work out for you because you're blending outwards. I like to use my brushes. So I feel like just use the brush, but it is a cool way of doing it. But I am gonna stick to my brushes right now. I'm gonna go in with that flat brush and just add a bit more right here where I missed. I do wanna try this shade out just because I'm curious like if it is too deep for me or if I mixed it, what it would do. So I'm just gonna apply a bit to it. I do like mixing it as well. I feel like I can get away with both. It's supposed to be the same exact shade as this one. I guess it is in a way, but I feel like I would just use the other shade. Yeah, super, super pretty. So up my alley with complexion and tone. I love their other foundations. I love this palette right here. So I feel like it's no shock, but then again, a shock because of how good it looks to me. Like I think my forehead looks great. I think it looks great right over here in this area. Apply my concealer now. I'm gonna add a little bit of other cream products. Pretty much everything that I would do in my everyday routine, my makeup forever. Little contour palette. I'm obsessed with these shades, so I'm gonna apply that. That is super pretty already. I'm gonna finish this off and I'll be back to share with you guys everything else, literally right now. This looks really good. They were not messing around. That shade 2N22 is doing it for me. It's the way that I barely blended the foundation down to my neck for it to blend because I always do that. You don't wanna have any type of lines going on. And I do self tan my body and not my face that it just seamlessly blends. This would be great for anyone. If you have oily skin, I feel like you would still like it. It's not over the top glowy, but it's definitely giving hydration. So of course you could still set it down with powder and you're gonna be good to go. If you don't like that glowy hydrated look, like you're not gonna like it. If you have dry skin, you're gonna love this. Definitely do your skincare prior though. Just because it's a hydrating, glowy foundation does not mean you don't do your skincare prior. Skin prep is still important no matter what skin type you have. Definitely checks off all the boxes for me. Like, I think it's a great one. Totally can get a sheer coverage out of it. I can definitely still see a little bit of imperfections through it, which to me is not a problem. If you want it to be full, full coverage, you're not gonna get it right away with this. You're definitely gonna have to build your way up. I was so impressed. Even by just doing that one swipe when I initially put it on, it covered so much and went on literally like butter. I'm really loving this. This looks so good on my skin. I really love the way like the forehead and like the center of my face looks. It doesn't look over the top glowy, but it also looks super healthy. I feel like it's one of those foundations where you don't have to even apply like a concealer or anything with it. If you just wanna have a little bit of glow, a little bit of radiance, some coverage to the skin looking really even, this is it. And if I wanted to bump it up more than this and give extra glam, I feel like I could still do that as well. And for spring, I feel like this is like gonna be that girl. So mark my words, go pick it up. I'm gonna leave it listed down below for you in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.